What's up ladies and gents, this is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today we're going to talk about two different topics. We're going to talk about GuardianCon 2017, and we're going to talk about a 10,000 subscriber challenge, which is 100% going to be massively difficult, but we're going to talk about it, so go ahead and stay tuned to that. What we're going to show in the background is a match that I spawned into last night. Now I typically hate spawning into the middle of matches. It doesn't matter if it's at the beginning, near the end, I hate it. I always spawn in and just die, die, die. What ended happening in this match was I actually had my controller die on me towards the end, so I couldn't really turn or slide or actually fire my gun or anything. And as I'm playing, I'm like, oh my goodness, am I going to have to buy a brand new scuff controller? But I think what happened was I had just been pulling out my controller a little bit from the slot. So I think the battery was actually dying on it. It was actually red, lit up red on the back of it. And whenever I eventually plugged it back in after the match was over, I got a connection. The stuff turned blue and it seemed to be working. So hopefully crisis averted. Anyway, let's go ahead and start off talking about GuardianCon. So this is GuardianCon, which is rebranded from DestinyCon, which we had last year down in Tampa. GuardianCon now is going to be in Tampa, and it's going to be June 30th through July 1st. So it's over the July 4th weekend. And tickets went on sale for this event yesterday. Now, I ended up going to DestinyCon last year and had so much fun. I ended up buying a smartphone, my first ever smartphone, and I did a vlog on that. So that was tricky, figuring out how to work my phone, how to take videos on it, and then going ahead and editing together whenever I got back. It was so much fun. If you never got a chance to actually check out my Destiny Con video, go ahead and check that out. It was so much fun. But I had a lot of fun meeting a bunch of different people, and we all decided whenever tickets went on sale for Guardian Con that we were absolutely going to want to go and do the VIP route this year. And tickets went on sale yesterday, and within roughly two hours, all the VIP tickets are already sold out. So people were sitting on at noon yesterday, and they were ready to go. They went ahead and started buying their tickets. The VIP tickets are already sold out. That is craziness. So if you're interested in buying tickets to GuardianCon, again, it's going to be June 30th through July 1st. You could go ahead and go to guardiancon.co slash tickets and go ahead and check out what the different passes are that you can go ahead and get. Since it's two days, you could buy single day, you could buy two days, it doesn't really matter. And just wanted to say right off the top of the bat, I do not have any affiliation with this at all, aside from going there as a participant right now. I'm not getting any type of money or anything like that. Just wanted to say that this event is run by King Athalion, by Broman, and by Kevin. Those guys are in charge. They've got all the really good answers to your questions. I'm just somebody that's a fan. I'm a creator. I'm going to be there. So if you're going to be there, who knows? We might be able to say hi or what's up. Thank you very much for coming to my channel. <laughs> all that kind of good stuff. And that's what was really cool. My favorite part, the convention was cool, but getting to hang out with everybody the night before, whenever we were at Wing House the night before, and then afterwards we went to some crazy pirate bar. I don't even know what the name of that one was. But that was so much fun hanging out and getting to meet so many different people. Whether they're just fans of Destiny, whether they're other content creators, it was just a lot of fun. And just the fact that there were so many people out there. And what's crazy is this event is only going to get bigger. They said that yesterday, one day, we started sales for this event yesterday at noon. And within one day, they already sold more than half of the tickets that were sold last year alone. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. And one of the reasons might be because last year, so many more people went to the event than ever anticipated that people had to get turned away. So Gathalian and Kevin, they made a very, very strong notice to say, if you do not pre-order your tickets, you will not be able to get in. And that only makes sense because last year, the lines for people to wait and buy tickets to get into the event was insane. There were so many people and they just had to turn people away because there was fire safety codes. You couldn't have that many people in the building. This year they got a bigger building. They're going to anticipate having even more people and they're going to anticipate raising over a million dollars for St. Jude's because they are partnered with St. Jude's this year. So all of your ticket purchases, the money after you're paying for the convention center, all of that money is going to go to St. Jude's. Last year, they ended up raising over $540,000 for St. Jude's. And St. Jude's was like, wow, you guys are ridiculous and amazing. We've never got this much from a single game. Can we partner with you next year? And we're like, yeah, we're going to help sick kids. 
<laughs> and I say we, but that's only because I'm a part of the Destiny community, not because I have anything to do with all the amazingness that's going on. So that's Guardian Con. I'm going to be there. Let me know if you're going to be there as well. Okay, so let's talk about this 10,000 subscriber challenge. At the beginning of this year, we talked about we wanted to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Well, you guys knocked that one out of the park. So we're going to make an even more insane and completely unrealistic goal. Can we hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year? So we've got roughly a month. Can we hit 10,000 subscribers on this channel? That's crazy. We've never had even remotely close to that much growth in a month. Absolute insanity. But if you think about how many people are out there on YouTube, how many people are fans and subs to other huge Destiny channels out there, and how many of those people are not even remotely aware of our small corner of YouTube. If we even get 1% or a fraction of 1% of those people to come over here and subscribe, we could easily hit the 3,000 in change subscribers we need to hit 10,000 by the end of this year. So at midnight on New Year's Eve, if we hit 10,000 subscribers, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my PlayStation 4 friends list and I'm gonna start clearing it out. I'm gonna clear it out of people that are back from like the PlayStation 3 days, people that don't play Destiny, people that I don't even know who they are because they've been on the friends list for so, so long from random games long in the past. I'm gonna clear out those spaces and then people who go ahead and send me friend requests in the beginning of 2017, I'll go ahead and add all of you add all of you to my friends list because we often get people coming and asking hey do you go ahead and add subscribers to your friends list and one of the reasons that I typically don't is because PlayStation gets really funny whenever you've got a huge friends list where it just starts glitching out and then you can't see any of your friends and the other thing is sometimes you end up getting people on there on your friends list and they start just spamming messages and chat invites over and over again and I might be in a chat party with my friends or clan mates already or I might be on and typically grinding and trying to get clips for this channel. So there's not a whole lot of time where I'm just running around just completely randomly and just open to doing whatever with anybody. It's tricky because of time constraints. But I'd like to reward you guys and have you all there if we can go ahead and hit this 10,000 subscriber mark. If there ends up being problems where I get just a ton of messages and chat invites and I have to block somebody, that'll suck. But Overall, everybody will at least get accepted. If we hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year, is that crazy? Yes, it's 100% crazy. Is it going to happen? I don't know. It's going to depend on how crazy you guys get with trying to get us out there, our name out there. Anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, your 10k challenge, and I'll see you around in Destiny. Hashtag, can we do it?